everybody and welcome back to Play It Again. I'm Sue. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it as always. Okay, today we are getting back to Billy Joel. We have done him once before on the channel. We did tell her about it and we had a number of subscribers write to me and say, here this suggestion, here that suggestion. There were a lot of suggestions for other Billy Joel songs, but I'm doing a song called all for Lena. I've never heard this song before, so I was very excited to do a Billy Joel song that I've never heard before. So we're going to do that one today. And uh, before we get going, though, if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, it really does help me to know that I'm going in the right direction and it really does help me to grow. Okay, let's get right into it. All for Lena by Billy Joel and Stay tuned to the very end of the video for my fun fact. Here we go. All for Lena. <laughs> uh, got some big eyes there, Billy. <laughs> He's having fun. Changed her mind. She gave me a night. That's all it was. What will it take until I stop kidding myself, wasting my time? Love that part. Okay, this is really great. Classic Billy Joel voice. When you hear his voice, you know it's him, right? It's very distinctive. And I love the piano work in there, that little doo -doo 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 -doo. That's fun. He is such an amazing piano player. And it's fun to see him kind of doing a really upbeat kind of poppy uh, song. And, and it's got, I don't know, it's a really fun beat. And if anybody knows who the drummer is, if you could tell me the drummer, the drummer's name, because he looks really, really familiar. And I don't know where I've seen him before, but I, I'm sure that I've seen him somewhere. So if you could put down what his name is and if he's famous for doing anything else, maybe he's had another band or was he on a TV show or something, because I really do recognize him. But I got a kick out of this at the very beginning when he popped up from his keyboard and he had his eyes big like saucers. It was actually really cute. Anyway, this is a really, really fun song. I can't actually believe I've never heard this song. Apparently it's off the Glass Houses album, which I had heard some of the songs off of there. There was a lot of big hits off that album, but this one, I don't remember this one. I don't know if this one was maybe not released as a single in Canada. I don't know, but I don't know it. Anyway, I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's get back to it. Over to say 
Oh, okay, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. I'm always so impressed by people who can play, like he was playing the, the piano and then the, the, the keyboard or the synth or whatever it was at the top at the same time. That's got to be really a, a difficult thing to do, to play those two instruments doing different things at the same time. I mean, I'm always so impressed by that. He's a very, very good uh, pianist and keyboard player. Anyway, that was a ton of fun. I really, really enjoyed that. And I would love to do more Billy Joel songs and put them down in the comments because there's a lot of songs I clearly don't know that he has done uh, that I would love to explore because there were a number of suggestions already that I was like, I don't recognize that one. I don't recognize that one. So if there are ones that maybe weren't quite as popular that you'd like me to do, Put them down in the comments and if you're from somewhere other than north america or maybe just maybe in canada let me know if this was a big hit in your country because i don't remember this one being a really big hit in canada but who knows maybe i just was kind of out of it at the time who knows it happens <laughs> anyway my fun fact for the day is that on the cover of the glass houses album you see billy joel with a rock in his hand ready to throw it at the glass at the house that actually is really Billy Joel's house, the house that he owns in um, Oyster Bay, New York. Interestingly, he bought that house in 1977 after he was turned down from residency at the very famous Dakota Apartments in New York City. I believe that uh, John Lennon actually lived there for a while. If I'm not correct, put that down in the comments. But apparently, the people who were on the board that decided who was getting into this building had been known for being quite snobbish and had turned down a number of famous people who applied to get in, such as Antonio Banderas, Melanie Griffith, Gene Simmons, along with our friend Billy Joel. Anyway, they didn't know what they were doing. They should have let all those people in because to me, they're all good eggs. Anyway, that it wraps it up for today. So everybody have a joyful day and I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.